Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another high grade witch from Mercury kit. This is the Delanza Soul. So this is our third version of the Delanza that we've had out now. So it should be pretty familiar overall. It's just gonna basically be a different color scheme of course here. And then it's got a little bit different kind of uh, weapons and equipment on there just to differentiate it from the previous two versions. But you know, if you guys have seen those reviews, you probably have a good idea of what's in store for us. But let's go ahead and check out the box and then the kit itself. All right, and as we saw with the Zoart Heavy in the previous review, this one also kind of has a much darker tone to it overall here for the front box art but once again as always the effects on this the lighting effects especially that beam effect right there on the front and just the kind of very subtle even less so in this case than we've seen in previous releases but the subtle weathering there a little bit kind of in this case it seems just more kind of illustrated just through the painting style but very cool artwork on here as always for the box art on the side of the box here, you can see this is number 21 in the line. And then on the bottom of the box, we've got a recreation of the box art here with the painted model kit. And then right here, some other different images showing the weaponry and some different poses and things that you can do with the kit. It's got a different backpack and back skirt here for this one. And all, overall, it just looks very cool. And here's the unpainted state right there. So even just straight out of the box, not painted or anything, it's gonna be looking quite nice. Around the other side, this is the fully painted version, front and back, so you can get like a full view of that. A little bit right here about the Jaturk Heavy Machinery faction, a little bit there about the story. And with that, we can pop open the box here. So it looks like we are gonna have a couple of little stickers. We'll take a look at those in just a moment. Let's first take a peek here at the manual where we've got the box art there once again, just minus all the background and everything. But again, really cool illustration there for that. And then on the back side here, once again, like we've seen with a number of different mobile suits in this series so far, we've got a little bit of a color difference as this is much more of like a dark bluish green color, whereas this one, like the actual model kit itself, just looks kind of like a, a dark bluish and blackish color. Definitely looks a little bit different from the artwork illustration right there. But the color guide is here for you in Japanese and in English down the side of the manual right there. And then we've got some information there about the beam rifle, beam bayonet, shield, that's all kind of standard equipment we've seen with this before, the beam torch, and the HC missile launcher and head unit are kind of what's new, particularly for this version. So there's some information about those there as well. Opening it up to the inside, we've got our parts list right there in full color, and then the first page of the construction also in full color. And after that, it's just all in black and white for the rest of the construction. Well, the foil stickers here is gonna be pretty minimal, basically one for the camera on the rifle, one for the visor and the head, and it looks like the these are going to be going there on the backpack and that's about it. So like usual with this line, we've got no poly caps, so we can get right into the runners here from runner A. We've got an off-white piece down here and this kind of dark brownish gunmetal color right there. And then purple and purple, except for those two colors, the purple do look slightly different. I'm just going to pop that section off just so we can take a look side by side really closely. And yeah, if you look carefully, you can see the visor part is a more bright, vibrant purple, whereas the purple, like for, uh, I think that's like the backpack parts or whatever, that looks like a little bit darker, uh, less saturated purple color. Runner B then is just a bunch more of that dark brownish gunmetal color there for some weapons parts and then a whole bunch of joint parts there mostly. Runner C here is the majority of our armor parts here all in black, so going to be a very dark kit overall. Going to be kind of hard to show you guys, so I'll have to do my best with that. Runner D3 here is a couple more pieces there in black. Runner E here is going to be our effect parts in clear pink. We've got one for the beam torch and then one for the bayonet on the gun. And then lastly, runner F is going to be a few more new parts here in that dark brownish metallic color. And that's it. All right, guys, here it is all built up in that black color scheme. It's looking pretty wild, and I hope that you guys are gonna be able to see it and everything throughout the course of this review, just because it is very dark. And we have some like dark color mobile suits from time to time, but it is pretty uncommon to have one that has so much black on it as it being like the primary color on it. So it's quite interesting just for that fact alone. But the new uh, parts, the new equipment that we have for this are also quite cool. The new shield parts there on the arms, the new backpack, uh, the new parts for the head as well. It's it's all very nice and just adds some nice interesting bits to a kit that like I said if you've been building every kit so far on the line you've already built this kit twice so you may be wondering is it really worth building again and I think the new aspects to this kit definitely make it quite interesting so let's go ahead and take a closer look at everything that we've got included so let's talk about its accessories which are gonna be mostly the same to previous versions that we've seen before as always we've got just the holding hands on there so no hand options unfortunately 
We've got the Beam Torch, which is a very cool weapon just because it's like a Beam Saber, but a new twist on the Beam Saber with this very cool effect part that it has for that. This one, like we've seen in past versions, can be stored up inside the shoulder shield like that. And then we've got the Beam Rifle, which again is the same. We have a little sticker there for the camera on that. But in this case, we have this new part, which we can add onto here. I had to check which way that that goes because it will actually fit on here uh, this is technically upside down, but, and uh, you can see like this part doesn't line up, but it does fit on there that way. Though it's supposed to go this way on there like that, and then we have our beam bayonet which can plug onto there. Plugs up into the bottom like that, like so, and again, we've seen different bayonet and beam bayonet options on different kits in the past before, although it's not very common. It is pretty rare, and this one does look really nice, so I do really like the look of this. I guess I got a little bit of a nubs still hanging off there a little bit of cleanup but anyway really cool and unique look for that this does still fit up into the shoulder armor up here so even with that extended so even with that extended barrel attachment on there it does still fit up into the shield like that or if you didn't want to have that you can uh, omit that extended part you could have just the rifle up there on one side and then this extension piece like for the uh, bayonet you could store that on the other side and then just not have the beam torch or however you might want to do that i do like the fact that you can store the weapons up inside these shields and on that note let's talk about the shields just because these are also a new aspect of this design Although there's not really too much to talk about, they still work in exactly the same way. It's basically just like this outside piece is what's changed and it's a different shape, but it still works in the same way. You can move this side to side, up and down, and then you can rotate this whole section. So you can bring the shield basically around to the front here like that if you want, keep it back to the back or kind of angle it up in some dynamic angle up there like so. And the articulation, again, I won't get too much into just because we've covered this in uh, past reviews. Nothing's really changed about this, but for a big, chunky, bulky design as it is, the articulation is really nice on this kit. So you'll see that when we get to trying out some poses. The new part for the head does look very cool there. Again, kind of very reminiscent of like the Echo S type Jagan having a more kind of like uh, special ops kind of version looking visor up there. Around here on the back, even though those are stickers, if you just put them on there carefully, use a blunted toothpick to kind of go around the edges of those just to make the stickers fit in there really nicely. And they're hardly noticeable as stickers. Like these are actual uh, plastic parts here, here, and here. And then those are stickers and there's not a big noticeable difference between them just at a glance, especially because they're on the back side. Uh, you're not really gonna see those stickers all that much. The sticker for the visor on the head, I mean, it's gonna maybe be a little bit more noticeable as a sticker, of course, just because it's like one of the very few uh, points on this kit, which is really bright and shiny in an overall very dark color scheme. And it is gonna be still a little bit shiny. I think with this, what would really make this look good, I mean, if you like how shiny it is just with the bare plastic, then go for it. But I think doing a matte top coat over the top of this would enhance the look of this drastically. It would look really, really nice. Just because it is such a dark color scheme overall, it is going to be, you know, catching the light is I mean as you can see in here it's kind of catching the light all over the place and it's kind of hard to see it really that clearly just because of that and I think a matte coat would help to kind of tone down the shininess so you can kind of really see and appreciate the details that much more I would think but all right guys without too much else to really go over here for this version let's go ahead and try out some poses here and like I said it's a really great kit for posing you may not think so at a glance just because it's a kind of big bulky design you may think oh, it's not gonna be necessarily looking the most dynamic but it certainly does really well in the way of posing. The articulation is really nice. It's got plenty of detail around it. And again, on this particular version, it's very dark, so it's kind of hard to see some of the details, but there is some nice details on there. Full detail up underneath the feet too, which is really nice. And again, I really like how the weapons on this are pretty standard. You have like shield, beam saber, beam rifle, but they're all done in a little bit different way. Like the beam uh, rifle, instead of just your kind of standard beam rifle, we now have that ba uh, beam bayonet attachment for that, which is a really nice addition. For the beam saber, it's the beam torch, which like I was saying, I do like how that's kind of a new take on a beam saber design. And then for the shields, rather than just like a standard arm shield, we have the two big shields that are mounted up onto the shoulders, which is, again is also not something that's the, the first time we've ever seen that, but it's not something that you see very normally. So really nice creative design where it's taking a lot of familiar elements 
and kind of changing them up a little bit. So really cool in that way. That said, if you already have like either one or two of the previous versions of the Delanza, do you really want to get this one? I would say it's really kind of up to you how much of a fan you are of the design. If you're not super into the design of this one and you already have one or two of the previous variants, I can understand maybe wanting to pass on this one. But if you are a fan of the design, and even if you already have the other ones, I would say it would make for, at the very least, it would make for a cool display having the three different versions kind of displayed together. And of course you could customize them really easily by mixing and matching parts if you wanted, like taking the, the different backpack or the different shoulder shield from one and giving it to another, uh, the different weapon options and everything. So definitely another cool variation of this. And I'm not sure if we'll see any more going into the future, any other different variations of this design. I would guess maybe not, but we'll have to wait and see. For such a chunky and unique grunt design, it does seem like it is pretty popular so that's nice to see what do you guys think about it let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the delanza design in general what do you think about this particular version uh, i'm interested to hear your guys thoughts on it and of course if you want to check out the kit for yourself you can do so at usa gundam store the link will be down in the video description if you guys also want to leave a like or subscribe while you're here really appreciate all your guys support till next time hope you all have a great day i'll see you guys later